All right, Thursday night, leading off the Sunset Concert Series. Done. We're going to oh. Friday night. Here we go. The grand, grand finale. finale. And Saturday night will be. The go go Well, all of those big announcements, that was April 2nd. Fast forward to today, and here we are. The stage is going up. Emily is so excited. We have made our way over to J. Fred Johnson Stadium. And of course, this is where all the action is going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's about to get very busy in here, that is for sure. And it's already getting busy. The restrooms are rolling in. The stage is being put up. You know, all those essentials. Absolutely. You have to have stage and bathroom. Number one, <laughs> we've already talked about concessions. Yep. So we've got it all. So we are good to go. And I've been learning a lot about stage construction. It is really cool to watch all the action behind the scenes. It is neat. People don't realize it kind of rolls in like a truck and suddenly it's a stage. So it's really neat to kind of watch that literally unfold. And now as we can see it, you can see the wheels underneath. It is a big trailer that you said they just pull the sides off. Yes, it's great. It's really cool. Uh, not everybody gets to watch this part of it. Um, so it's neat to watch this then become what the public sees. And I know this year we are really excited working with even some local companies on the stage construction. Yeah, we're very excited to have Express AV here with us this year um, with this beautiful stage out here. Um, so we can't wait to show it off. This is going to be a great setup this year. Yeah, you were telling me this year, I mean, every year it's amazing, but this year they're going to see some changes. It's going to be even bigger and better. Absolutely. You know, everything with the concerts, the setup, the fireworks, we always try to add a little extra each year. So we hope that all of our concert attendees will be really excited this year. And of course, this is such a perfect venue. As you look around the field, the stands, there's plenty of room for everybody to spread out. And you know the best part, even if this rain continues for a little bit today, there is no mud on field turf. Um, <laughs> so you can still bring that chair or blanket in for all those concerts. There are stick, still tickets on sale um, for all three. So please go ahead and get those tickets now. And as you made that announcement on April the 2nd, the crowd has gone crazy. The response, people are so excited. Goo Goo Dolls, Crowder, so many big names coming in. Yes, we are so excited about Crowder, uh, Tyler Hubbard. If you were a Florida Georgia Line yes. fan, you're going to hear so much of that um, in that Friday show. And then Goo Goo Dolls. I'm so excited um, to see all these. And Philip Phillips opening for Goo Goo Dolls. It's going to be really three great shows. We're pretty excited. And of course, one of the great things is it's so affordable for families to have those opportunities opportunities to come out and see a live concert together. It is definitely one of the most affordable shows you can get around here um, for the level of entertainment that is brought in and we try very hard and it's a thank you to all of our sponsors um, in this community that make that possible to keep those tickets you know at the lower price that they are um, but get them before they run out. Yeah. I encourage you to do that. Um, you can still get them online all the way up until the show starts. You can buy them at the Fun Fest store, um, and there'll also be a tent outside the stadium each night. Um, so we encourage you, come on out and enjoy some great music. And of course, that finale, when you're talking about the Goo Goo Dolls, when Fun Fest is closing out, it is pretty spectacular to sort of be part of that. Absolutely. I love nothing more than when I start to hear that 10 second countdown um, and know that those fireworks are coming off the back of the stadium. Uh, it's so neat because it's not just the people that are in here. You know, there's the thousands that will be outside at the Taste and then all over the city. Um, you know, you really can see it from about everywhere if you're near downtown. Um, and so we hope you'll enjoy that. Um, we thank Eastman for that great fireworks show out here. Uh, every year we try to add a little extra flair to that as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. We're excited. And I think it's amazing, like every day there are so many different activities for all different ages and all different generations really. And then you build up to the Wednesday, which is today when the taste kicks off. And then you have those concerts lining up and hard to believe, but like you said, we're at that midway point. You know, and another great thing about Friday, one of those iconic moments is when you have that hot air balloon glow. Mm, yeah. When you're sitting in this stadium and you look out um, on the other end and you see those giant night lights and then Saturday morning, you know, weather permitting all those balloons taken to the skies over Kingsport. That to us is a true definition of Fun Fest. Um, and so we hope the weather is kind um, and that we get to get all those balloons out into the sky for everybody to see. 
All right. Well, it doesn't matter what the weather's doing right now. Those folks are out there. They are getting that stage set up. So as you can see, it is all coming together. Don't forget, tickets are still available. Get them now. Don't wait any longer. Funfest.net. You can see those concerts coming up Thursday, Friday, and then, of course, closing out with the Goo Goo Dolls on Saturday. All that and much more you can find on the website and their Facebook page.